Oh, Marcus Conti reporting on Robert Mueller. Back in the news, he's going to testify. Uh-oh. Remember when Robert Mueller, the uh, Russiagate, the kingpin of Russiagate, the narrator of Russiagate said that I, uh, my, my Mueller report is my testimony. Well, Mueller has now been subpoenaed, will testify before two House committees July 17. Pow. <clears throat> now, because of our politics, because the Republicans are going to try to find out, <clears throat> are going to try to confirm that no collusion, no, no, uh, no uh, uh, obstruction occurred, right? Because that's what Trump wants to, 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 to reinforce in the American psyche, right? That's, uh, that's the Republican side. And the Democrats are going to try to, to prove that that happened. Now, why doesn't any of these idiots, why won't any of these Republicans or Democrats get to the root of the problem? The predicate crime in Russiagate, the, the, the basis of Russiagate is that 12 Russian GRU agents hacked the Democratic National Committee, right, in April, May, June of 2016, and then handed that information to WikiLeaks, the guy who's in jail in England, right, and that, and that somehow swung the election to Trump, right? But actually, what really happened was, was that uh, that it swung the election for Hillary Clinton, right? Because the object was to knock Bernie Sanders out of the way. Now, why? Right? That's the predicate crime, right? None of that happened. <laughs> That's the point, right? So Robert Mueller is gonna let's let's just look at the headline and I'll talk more about that. So Mueller subpoenaed will testify before two House committees in July. Uh, 17. I just want to make it clear that the that the Mueller report, right? The I'll, I'll, we'll look at that as well, uh, stating that 12 GRU agents hacked the Democratic National Committee is a total lie, is a total farce, is a total fabrication of truth. It's a figment of Hillary Clinton, Robbie Mook, and uh, and whoever else, probably Bill Clinton, uh, John Podesta's imagination, right? Of Debbie Wasserman Schultz, right? They came up with something using the FBI file on Russia, maybe, with uh, James Comey and, and, and McCabe, right? The whole idea of that is a lie. And the whole, the, the foundation of Russiagate is based on that lie, right? So wouldn't, wouldn't it make, it just, to me, it seems like common sense. Now that you have Mueller up front, right? If you're, if you're William Barr, the uh, attorney general and you're, you're Trump trying to get back at the Democrats, why don't you attack the core of the case, right? We'll look at that core, right? So, uh, so Robert Mueller will testify before House Judiciary, Judiciary and House Intelligence Committees after both panels subpoenaed the former uh, special counsel according to a Tuesday evening press release. Wow, he's going to... He's going to make his way to, uh, to, to court, to uh, Congress. Pursuant, quote, pursuant to subpoenas issued by the House Judiciary and House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence tonight, Special Counsel Robert Mueller III has agreed to testify before both committees on July 7 in open sessions. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Open, that means we get to see it. Love it, love it, love it. Right. But is it going to be a shit show? Is it just going to be a uh, reinforcing? Because none of these, you know, House and Senate people have any integrity anymore, right? It's, it's politics, right? The Democrat, Democratic side of the field can't denigrate Mueller because, I, I don't know, because, because they want to believe that they, they need, they have to believe that the Russians hacked the election. They have to believe that because if you don't believe that, then then the evidence is clear, that was Hillary Clinton, the way they rigged the election. Uh, so, but that is the that is the root of the problem, right? That is the the essence of the case. News of Mueller's testimony is a sharp reversal from a rare public statement in May, during which he said, "quote The report is my testimony." Remember when he said that in that little seven minute piece that he came out on, uh, on TV did and did, referring to the Russia report, his office put out every uh, after nearly two years of of his investigation. In April, William Barr, General Attorney William Barr, released a redacted version of the report, which found no evidence of collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia, yet declined to uh, render a prosecutorial recommendation on whether Trump had obstructed the investigation. Meanwhile, despite an almost unredacted version of Mueller's report made available to Congress, Democratic lawmakers have insisted on access to the full report. I told, 
who cares right <clears throat> none of it none of it is is uh again william barr has no one has challenged the the premise that 12 russians hacked the the uh the dnc here's Mueller's report page four russia russian hacking operation and it goes page by page how the gru in april of 2016 Guccifer 2.0, DC leaks, all these figments of people's imagination apparently was was going on and there's no there's no uh, forensic evidence that any of it happened. In fact, it was it was uh, subcontracted contracted out to CrowdStrike, a company down in Florida somewhere or Virginia, wherever the hell they are. Right? That was paid for by the Clinton Foundation, Clinton Clinton money to find Russian hacking, right? Vault seven, right? It's, 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 we never saw the actual evidence, right? All we saw, we didn't see anything. All we have is the testimony of Robert Mueller in his Mueller report that is based on nothing. The FBI never saw it, right? So there's no real, there's no real evidence. You know, the, you know, the FBI and the CIA, the, the ones that we, that our tax money goes to keeping afloat, right? Those people are supposed to investigate stuff like this. I had the DNC says they got hacked and nobody steps in and, and does a goddamn thing about it. All right. So page after page after page of how the GRU swooped in and, and hacked the Democratic election, handing the election to Trump, is all now documented. It's all official gaslighting narrative from the higher-ups, right? And, uh, you know, and it climaxes in the end where the truth... Actually, the truth is, I guess it's page 48, the actual truth of the matter, which is now the lie, right? All that bullshit truth, which is now the lie, which is that the uh, the, the, the idea that um, Seth Rich was the leak. What is it, page 38 or 48? I forget. <laughs> uh, so... I mean, but that is the essence of this of this uh, argument that we must get to the bottom of the leak. I don't know; it's in there anyway. But here's the other part of it, right? Here is here is the indictment of the twelve Russian hackers. <laughs> what happened to this, Robert Mueller? What happened? You indicted twelve Russian hackers, and then and no, but not a single day in court, nothing. You rig a a a a, a grand jury. Grand jury can indict a ham sandwich. Right? You presented the information to this grand jury. Right? You assemble a grand jury. You present this evidence, and then you get you get um, you get these twelve Russian names. Right? It's such a disgrace what's happening in our in our in our um, judicial system. It's just a disgrace that that because this looks all clean and professional and twenty nine pages and money was spent to get an indictment is it's 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 deemed real. It's guilt before it's guilty before you can prove yourself innocent. Right? It's officially these guys are officially guilty in name and never spent it, never were never even invited invited into court, never extradited, never subpoenaed for, for anything, right? It's a it's a disgraceful use of the judicial system. So you've got so this is the questions that that the the Senate, uh, the House Committee, or whoever the hell is gonna is gonna grill Mueller in open court, open session. These are the questions you need to ask. Where's the twelve? Where's it? Hey, hey, Robert Mueller. Where's the twelve Russian hackers? What happened to that? Right? Where's the where's the where's the forensic evidence that the GRU hacked the DNC? Oh, oh, the DNC destroyed their own servers. What? Right? These are the, the obvious questions to ask. Not did Trump obstruct justice of, of a totally fabricated you know, story. Right? The story is, again, predicated on the notion that Russians hacked the DNC, which did not happen. Right? So that's where you need to look. So, so anyway, Robert Mueller, and, and, and in, in, in absence of that, who actually, who actually did it? Right? See, that's what we really want to know. We know that the, the, the content of the emails, it totally um, exposes the DNC for being a fraud. 
I think they were feeding questions to Hillary Clinton. The whole thing was rigged in favor of Hillary Clinton over Bernie Sanders. And then when finally, when, when the DNC convention actually convened in late July of 2016, the narrative switched to, oh, Trump did it, right? And then when Hillary Clinton lost, oh, Trump really did it, right? That, that's what it was. It was, a, it was a scapegoat to get the Bernie Sanders people to say, oh, no, no, the, the DNC was hacked. That wasn't us cheating. To, take, take, to try to get the mind off the ball of the Bernie Sanders people that, that, that the, the R- Russians hacking the, the, con, the um, servers was more important to know than what they actually hacked and revealed to the public, which was over cheating against them. <laughs> so, so anyway... It should be interesting, uh, probably uneventful because of the the nature of our politics, that um, Mueller will be grilled and and asked questions. The Democrats will ask about collusion and and obstruction. The Republicans will take the other side and say, oh, see, no no collusion, no obstruction. And nobody slash nobody will discuss the fact that that 12 Russians never hacked shit. And that that was, in fact, an inside job, to which we still don't know the exact nature of what happened. Marcus Conte reporting, become a Patreon of this channel or make a one-time contribution uh, at PayPal. You can also buy stickers on eBay, right? This is how we keep it floating right here. This is truth right here, right? It's not, no fucking LARP shit, right? It's just, it's, it's just, you look at the truth. The truth is so goddamn obvious, right? Support the truth, right? I'm bringing great guests on lately, right? I'm going to get real truth tellers. Get away from the phony baloney jerks of my past. You remember all those jerks, the LARPs, fucking crazy bastards, right? Gotta get rid of all those people, man. Just get, just, just like wipe the slate clean, man. Go for truth. Truth is what I'm saying, man. Truth. Marcus Conte reporting.